problem that needs to be addressed in our country is floating trash in water bodies for which an AI based trash collection board is a potential solution. The prototype is developed using sun board and wooden frame to form complete board structure with sheer strength which is necessary for the board. A manual controller is developed using Atmega 328 microcontroller, HC05 Bluetooth module and an Android application developed by us to drive the board and to control the conveyor. This is the controller board and the Android application developed by us to drive the board and to control the conveyor by sending the signal to the microcontroller through the application and HC05 which will perform the necessary actions. For garbage detection system, a Raspberry Pi, a camera, OpenCV and YOLO model is used. YOLO is an abbreviation of you look only once. It is a pre-trained CNN model used for object detection which is further trained to detect the floating trash in real time. These are the steps that are necessary for training the YOLO model for floating trash detection. The better the quality of training data provided, the higher will be the accuracy during the real-time detection. Now we start the training of the model by giving it the training data after which the detection will be possible. OpenCV processes the visual data obtained from the camera attached to the Raspberry Pi and then processed data is given to YOLO model for detection. The training model is able to detect cluster of garbage and even a single plastic bottle floating in the water reflecting a good accuracy of the model. We can expect this accuracy to be in between 85 to 90 percent. GPS tracking is done using U-Blocks Neo 6M and a ceramic antenna. PubNub API is used to deliver the coordinates obtained from onboard GPS to the web page where a JavaScript API is used to reflect the Google map. Once you click on the start tracking button, the current location of the boat and further route followed by the boat can be seen in real time on this web page. We can stop the tracing by clicking on the stop button. Solar energy is utilized to charge the batteries which are used to power the boat by using sufficient solar panels mounted on the roof of the boat. The power controller will be the intermediate circuit between batteries and the panels to protect both from getting damaged. The application of the boat includes cleaning of urban drains, rivers, lakes, ponds and water reservoirs.